In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install Java Pathfinder uh, JPF Core uh, in your machine. I'm using a Mac OS X JDK 1.8 NetBeans 8.0.2, uh, but uh, it should be uh, available. It is available for Windows and uh, Eclipse uh, IDEs as well. Uh, you can find the system requirements by clicking this link uh, that has the detailed description of what all is required. Um, and uh, uh, for this uh, you can download two versions of uh, Java Pathfinder one is the binary another is uh, uh, the source code through their Mercurial repository uh, NetBeans by default doesn't have Mercurial so you can download it by clicking this link and uh, downloading this file I already have it installed so I'm not going to reinstall it here, um, but it's a simple mpkg file. But just in case, uh, if it doesn't let you install, this is because uh, Mac by default doesn't allow third party applications. So, so you have to get it uh, changed in your system settings. Uh, after that, uh, it should let you install it. Uh, and after that, um, you can check if the installation is correct by typing he dash dash version so this should let you know that uh, the mercurial is, is installed properly after that you need uh, to download the NetBeans uh, plugin uh, for JPF uh, that's available in this link uh, once you go in here uh, you can click this try downloading the file instead so um, I've already, I've downloaded it here and you can go to NetBeans and uh, you can go to your tools and plugins and you can click the downloaded one and uh, you can click the add plugin and uh, go to that proper location demo downloads okay so after you open it yes so and then you can click install this should install the jpf plugin for netbeans um it's a pretty good uh, utility if you are going to be running uh, uh jpf uh, a lot so it's not signed but it's okay click continue so it's finished installing the plugin um, preferably uh, restart your NetBeans so okay there's a lot of project open it's going to take a bit of time so once this is installed you need to create a folder under which uh, you'll be storing all the jpf modules uh, it has a lot of extensions so it's better to keep all of them under one i've named the jpf underscore home here you can keep it wherever you want in your hard disk uh, but i strongly recommend to keep all your jpf uh, modules uh, into the same folder uh, you will understand why i'm saying this when you create the site.properties file when it beans is up right now uh, after adding the plugin so let's proceed uh, we have created the jpf underscore home folder and wherever you want i put it right now under demo um, and now we need to uh, clone the mercurial project uh, there's a link for it uh, you need to copy paste it and then go to theme go to mercurial clone other so you give the path uh, to the repository and you can leave the user ID password empty and click next and uh, leave this default and click next again and then uh, go to your JPF home location
and then leave the clone name as jpf dash core uh, just to go by the defaults and make sure you have the scan for netbeans project after clone so netbeans can build the project i mean can scan for the project and can get you uh, started quickly so it's cloning from the repository and uh, yeah click s and then click open project so now jpf core is added as a project in a beans and then you need to build jpf core so i right click it and then i do clean and build it's going to take a bit of time uh, for the jpf to build it's a big project so let's continue with uh, the site dot properties mm. so site dot properties is a file that's required for jpf so that it can map uh, where all the different extensions are so uh, this is a sample site dot properties file given by jpf uh, in this uh, link um, and uh, uh, there's more details about uh, how it is for different uh, setup I believe Windows has a little bit of uh, problem so you make sure you go through this uh, site or properties dash Windows uh, URL and check it uh, the site uh, in uh, Unix like environment it should be present in the user home and uh, uh, then you can put it under wherever you want but uh, you must be present in sorry the user underscore home and dot jpf folder so uh, let me get to my user underscore home so uh, create a directory dot jpf then cd dot jpf and then make sure you create this site dot properties file so you can copy paste this exact same thing um, that's fine but uh, right now I'm not going to have more of uh, uh, um, more of it so um, when you go for all the extensions and stuff uh, you need uh, all of it but right now just as jpf dot home and uh, sorry. Okay, this and because we are doing the core, so you need to have the core as well. So the jpf.home should point to the absolute part of where your jpf underscore home folder is. So, make sure you give the full URL of that. Say it's in CD. and the jpf and dash core you can just point to your jpf dot home followed by jpf dash core so this is the reason why i want to keep 
that simple you just keep a jp underscore home so you can as and when you add more and more extension you can point to the same jpf.home and then you can append all that uh, is required so save it exit okay so now the site dot properties is done and uh, um, jpf has finished building as well you can ignore these warnings temporarily <coughs> that is okay and uh, in order to ensure that your GPF installation is successful, go to the source dash examples. That's they have a lot of examples. So I'm just going to go to hello world.jpf and then you can see this is what it is. You can right click it and say verify. So this is the message that it prints and uh, this ensures you have jpf totally configured in your in beans as a project and you can play around with it so that's it for now um, this should get you started with jpf good luck